Hello, and welcome to the Second Breakfast Club. In today's video, we're going to be talking about The Rings of Power Episode 2, Adrift. And I'd like to start by just saying that I enjoyed the second episode much more than I did the first. However, I do have plenty of complaints. For starters, the opening title sequence. The sand animation I thought was boring. And I'm sure I'm not alone in this, but I'm not a big fan of sand either. I don't like sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating. And it gets everywhere. Also, the music sounded fairly generic. I didn't like the uh, the opening title music that they had. Uh, in fact, it, it kind of made me think of like Harry Potter for some reason. Not really sure why. It's surprising considering Howard Shore wrote the music for the title sequence. But I'd say this, The Rings of Power is, is clearly competing with Game of Thrones and they're, they definitely lost when it comes to having a catchy intro because that's not... I don't even remember how it went, and it's not something that I think I'd ever find myself humming, you know, at any point, ever. But from there, despite the lackluster intro, this episode, again, like episode one, had plenty of beautiful visuals. And a thing I enjoyed that they did in episode one that they continue to do here is I like how they show a map whenever it's relevant to traveling to a new area and showing you a new location. Although... There was one part where they showed a map of where Elrond and Celebrimbor were traveling, and I I would have preferred it if they had showed them traveling instead of showing just a dashed line moving on the map and then poof, we're there. Because to me, some of the most memorable shots in the Peter Jackson trilogy, for example, are the massive landscape shots that shows our heroes traveling through Middle-earth on their adventure. Also, on a side note to that, why does Celebrimbor need his project done by spring? What what's the what's the rush? Uh, it seems unnecessary and just kind of unjustified. Putting urgency somewhere where there's really no explanation as to why he needs that tower and forge built by spring. Moving on from there, as far as the Harfoots and the Stranger goes. I, th I think The Stranger is intriguing while also frustrating due to my fear as well as many other people's fear of it being Gandalf, which would be a huge break in the lore, purely for nostalgia and a piss poor attempt at fan service that would, in reality, piss off real fans. Gandalf is not in Middle Earth for the Second Age. Not even close. So to put him there would be... A huge failure on Amazon's part. Galadriel continues to be unbearable in her self-centered one-dimensional motivations. Are you going to tell me where the enemy is or not? I need to know how many the enemy were, under whose banner they marched, and then you are going to take them to their last known location. Definitely did not enjoy any of the crap with her in it. The fact that she's in the open ocean just swimming, thinks she can make it back to Middle Earth, is absurd ridiculous and whoever wrote that should throw themselves in the middle of the ocean the writers must have galadriel confused for leah thomas like come on now i will say the dwarves are simply amazing every scene with them i couldn't help but find myself wanting more and that goes from just the the shots that you see of moria uh, and casa doom to even looking at like the, the really cool armor that some of these dwarves are wearing. I love those the masks that they have on covering their, their face. That was really a really cool touch. Not this one. What the fuck is that supposed to be? And in the first episode, I felt that the soundtrack was not good. For episode two, however, it improved. But for me, the only music that stood out was the the scenes with the dwarves and the, the main dwarf theme that they were playing at, while entering Casa Doom for the first time with Elrond. And again, what, what we briefly saw of Casa Doom, aka Moria, made me even more excited for the new Return to Moria game set to release next year. Be sure to check out my video talking about that game if you haven't already, and if you have no idea what I'm talking about. It looks awesome. I can't wait to play it. Another thing that they did with this episode that I liked, uh, they added this horror element 
with with the orcs, uh, and that was really cool. Uh, but you got to be shitting me that the first orc we see outside of the prologue gets killed by freaking Bronwyn. Meanwhile, Arondir was too much of a chicken shit to even try to fight the orcs in that little tunnel scene. In closing, this episode was a great improvement on the first. However, still rather slow for my liking. I, I understand that they are still laying the groundwork, but I would have preferred to see the plot develop a bit quicker. And knowing that we only get one episode a week now, it makes me worried that we're going to sit through another hour and still be left waiting for something exciting to actually happen that moves the plot along. It's fairly clear to me that episode 3 will be focused on Numenor and will probably spend most of its time introducing another storyline and characters, meaning more groundwork and less substance. So that has me a bit concerned that the show's not going to really ramp up until episode 4, episode 5, who knows. Now, I gave episode 1 a 5 out of 10 rating, and if it wasn't for the fantastic scenes with Durin, Disa, and Elrond, my score would sink to a sad 4, like how Galadriel should have sunk in the middle of the ocean. But because Disa's warm hospitality, I'm giving this episode a resounding 6 out of 10. Now, if you disagree with me there, that's on you. You can have whatever opinion you want. Thank you, though, for watching my review of episode 2 for the Rings of Power. This was my short review, but if you want to hear my full breakdown of the episode, be sure to check back into the channel later. Uh, for when I upload that to the channel. But for now, leave a like and comment down below your thoughts and opinions on episode two. And if you would like to join me in discussing the Rings of Power or any other Middle Earth content, be sure to join my Discord page linked down below. And until next time, farewell.